that little place is a city that for all kinds of bad stuff. A shaken community now calling for action from the city after a young man is shot to death in northwest Fresno. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Stephanie Baruchian. And I'm Alex Zambalakian. New at 11, city leaders and Fresno police answering a call to action tonight. Residents in northwest Fresno voicing their concerns after a murder in their neighborhood. 24-year-old Brandon Harris gunned down at an overlook near Milburn and Alluvial on Monday. AJ Cotto is live now after this meeting. And AJ, did that meeting provide any answers for the residents what's being done to keep them from uh, seeing this again. Well, Alexan, they definitely voice their concerns. And it's about this area here, this outlook. They say it's a problem area. They say they see crime happen here all the time. And now this, there's a memorial here. And what's supposed to be a peaceful place tonight, everyone did have a chance to voice those concerns. A Northwest Fresno community still shaken. I know a lot of you are very upset about what happened. Uh, I am too. After police say 24 year old Brandon Harris was gunned down at the Milburn Outlook near Alluvial Monday. Losing our children is just something that we just don't want to have to go through and it's just heartbreaking to see this happening so many times. It's just heartbreaking. A packed house for a community meeting Thursday. Everyone invited to speak up about an area many say is no longer safe. That little place is a city that for all kinds of bad stuff. It's not surveilled. It's tucked in. Whatever we do, something has to be done with that spot. Councilman Mike Carbasi, along with Fresno PD, fielding questions and asking for ideas. I would like to see the parking lot removed and, and have some benches or something put into where you can actually enjoy it because the way it's set up is mostly just to sit in your car. Many people requesting the parking lot be removed, but the crowd split on going further. If you could close the park entirely, that would be my vote. I would love to have the park stay open. We walk with our kids there at least a couple times a month. Carbasi says his wish is to find a way to keep the area open, but with enhanced security. It's now temporarily closed to vehicle access until improvements are made. Um, I think it's important for the city to hear what the residents are concerned about so that we can not only be reactive to what happened, but proactive so it doesn't happen again. And Carbasi tells me the lighting here was just upgraded to LED. He says those will be in soon. And police also wanted to make it a point to let residents know if they see anything suspicious, be sure to give them a call. Reporting live in Northwest Fresno, AJ Cotto, KC24, Local News That Matters.